Right, welcome back. An update on progress for our little lady. So there is now water bag and toes. I was starting to get quite concerned about her because she was making no progress, nothing at all. And I was wondering if she maybe had a breech berth in there, but that look, that does look like, from what I can see, and the toe is moving. So whatever it is in there, it's alive. I mean, she is quite small, um, but there is toes there. Uh, Definitely one set of toes. I'm, I'm just waiting. I'm hoping I can see a second set of toes. Uh, I'd be a lot happier with that. She is very small. I was that far away an hour ago from call, calling the vet. I'm going to give her another hour. Uh, and if she continues to progress, that would be OK. I'm going to let her do it her own time. She is a very, very young heifer. Um, that looks like a second set of toes there. It makes me feel a lot happier. Um, let's walk away and just leave her in peace for a minute. I don't think there's any panic for a second. It's 2.21. I'll give it till half past three. If she's not progressed any further than that, then I might well call the vets and get them to come out because I have got also bear in mind she is small. Her pelvis will be small. I don't think she's carrying a big calf because she hasn't got, she was never carrying a big belly. So I think whatever she has is going to be a rabbit. Well, what we would call a rabbit. <laughs> but I think she's presenting correctly. So, right. I'm just going to leave her alone for a minute. No prizes for guessing who that was. You noisy bugger! I think that's got it. Right, so... My nasty squealy noise was coming from... the end of that screw that was located in there, and this bracket when I took it all apart and skewed the steering round, this bracket got a bit caught up and I think ever so slightly bent. So what I want to put it back together, this screw was impacting the bottom of the pulley up in here. And that was the noise I could hear. So yeah, I thought I'd look there first just in case. And fortunately the first place I looked was where the problem was. So quick twist of the screwdriver fixed. Done. So now that all that's left is for me to try it out for the second time and make sure that I'm happy that this is safe enough for my guys to use. No nasty noises. So as long as the mower works, now, Scooby Dog, thank you, we're good to go. fixed just done a, done a quick once over over the back lawn didn't really need it it's only been 25 minutes half an hour so not long I don't think we've progressed much further for a minute mind you it's 25 minutes how you doing 
So, water bag's about the same. You can see toes. She doesn't seem unduly stressed out for a minute. There's no panting, tongue hanging out or looking poorly. So I, th I think at the moment we're still okay. We're just gonna let nature take its course, I think. Even if nature is taking its course like almost a year before it should be. Normally, you would put a, a good size heifer, not a small heifer, a good size heifer, you put to the bull about 14, 15 months. Uh, we tend to leave ours for about 18 months, which is her age now. So in the normal scheme of things, if I was gonna put her to a bull, I would be introducing her to a bull around about now, not nine months ago. So, we're having some contractions here. Pretty sure that's two sets of toes. So, when I first came in here, I could see one set of toes and what I believed was a, the tip of a second set, so it looks like You can see one in the bag, and I think just behind it, if she pushes in a minute, we'll see. We'll see a second toe. I don't think she's ready for me to do things like putting a calf rope on her, on the calf. I don't think she's ready for that yet. She's young, it's gonna take time. And I think if I try and force it too soon, I'll end up damaging the heifer. And while she's not distressed, I mean, it's obviously uncomfortable, but she's not distressed. I think we're just gonna carry on letting nature take its course at its own time. So I'm just gonna sit here and keep her company for a bit. <sighs> Whether that's gonna be soothing to her, don't know. But while I'm down low, um, I'm much less of a threat while I'm sat down immobile that I am stood up over her, so like I say, she doesn't seem overly stressed or concerned about my presence. Here's a contraction. And there's the other set of toes, I can see them. I do feel sorry for her. Right, we've decided to change position. Needed a drinky. All right, sweetheart. Well, let's try not to push it out under the gate, though, eh? Oh. Bless you. I'm trying to find our halter, which should be by the crush. Just in case I've got to give her hand in a bit, she might need a halter, but I don't know what I've done with it. Oh, there it is. That's all right. As long as I got it, that's the main thing. Okay, it is coming up half past four. I think we've waited long enough. I think it's time I got involved, mainly because if I've got a problem, I've got to call a vet. I'd rather call them before five o'clock than after hours. And those of you that know, will know why. Yeah, she hasn't progressed a lot further. So I think it is time. So. Definitely two feet there. Hello, darling. And I can see a nose already. That looks like a tongue as well. So, yeah. If I can break the, break the membrane, there you go. Okay. Two feet, nose, tongue, or even 
two feet, nose, tongue. It does have a point at the right thing, doesn't it? He's tight in there, isn't he? Eh? Okay. I'll wait for you. Okay? When you're ready. When you're ready. <clears throat> right, I want that a bit further up than that. Ready? And again. Come, little bull calf, a little bull calf. Come on. Literally, I saw your feet moving. Come on, come on. Come on. Not again. Oh no. Come on. Nothing? Nothing at all? <sighs> Bugger. <sighs> See, that's not fair because 20 minutes, half an hour ago, he was moving his feet. I could see him moving his feet. There is no reason why. It's not like he was squeezed in the birth canal or his umbilical was broke. Umbilical didn't break till he come out. Why? That's just not cricket. I'm really sorry, Mum. Bugger. <sighs> Absolutely nothing. Yet yeah, I know for sure he was alive half an hour ago. And I didn't. I didn't do this too late. 
I waited long enough, but not too long. This calf should be alive. If there is one, it's not a saving grace. If there's one thing that's maybe, there isn't really an upside to this, but she was too young to have a calf anyway. If, if the calf had survived and she carried on and reared him, it would, it would pull her back. It would bring her back. Um, she's at the age now where she should be going to the bull now, not having a calf now. This was never meant to happen. Uh, this shouldn't have happened. And in some ways it hasn't, apart from the fact that creating that calf has taken lots of energy from her, which is one of the reasons she's so small is because of this. So she's, I'm going to let her just calm down now. I'm probably going to leave the calf in here for 10 minutes because I can't think of anything better to do. I kind of want her to, if she has a calf, I just take it away. Um, I don't know quite how that would affect her on her next calf. Oh. Half an hour. Should I pull it out half an hour ago? There was no reason to pull it out half an hour ago. She wasn't ready because all he had was toes. So we came down just now, we had toes, nose and tongue. So she pushed it back so far. Um, yeah. I had concerns it was going to be a difficult calving. It definitely wasn't easy for her. Guess, guess who that is? Burgers. Anyway, I was saying, I was, I was fairly sure this wasn't going to be an easy calving for her because she is so small. Um, would she have passed that calf on her own eventually? Possibly. Um, but in that case, then the calf probably wouldn't have survived anyway, because it would have been just too long. If she'd spent all tonight trying to push her out, then the calf wouldn't survive that. But um, we saw the first signs of calving, first thing this morning with a mucus string, but there was no um, uh, contractions as such until early afternoon. And then she started with contractions about every half an hour, but they were what we would call strong ones. And it wasn't until the last two and a half hours she started really pushing. I didn't want to rush her because she's a heifer and I needed her to dilate properly. Uh, trying to pull a calf through a small, small hole is hard enough, but a smaller than necessary hole, if you understand what I'm trying to say here. So we waited. Did I wait too long? No, I don't think I did. I think I, think I waited the right amount of time. Um, I didn't, one of the reasons I went now was it gives me time. If there was no way of getting that calf out, it would have given me time to call the vets and get veterinary help before calling the after hour service and ch being charged twice as much. So that's one of the reasons I went it now. Didn't have to go now. She could have waited another hour, in my opinion. Half an hour ago, when I came down to check her last, that's all it was, half an hour, the calf's toes were moving. He was alive. I don't know why he died. There's no, there's no, there's no reason why he died. <laughs>